of the revealed books which I could study, I found that there are no except, exceptions. Everybody has to fast. And very interesting to know that among the Jews, a person who is a guest of a Jew has to fast, even if he's not a Jew. It's very interesting. The guest has also to fast. In Islam, no. A person who is a traveler should, he can and he should postpone his fast. A sick person, ill person should not fast. He's allowed not to fast. A woman who's pregnant, a woman who's feeding her baby out of her breath, breast, she should not fast. She can postpone her fasts and she can make up uh, the number of these days later. So Islam is a religion of nature and it's given exceptions when they are necessary. There's a verse from Mankana Minkum Maridan, Awala Safarin, Faidatum in Ayam in Ukhar. While Ladina Yuti Hunahu, Fidyatum Tahamu is key. Fasting. But if one of you is ill or on a journey, the prescribed number of the prescribed number should be made up from days later. For those who can do it with hardship is a ransom, the feeding of one that is indigent. And now, for those for whom it is impossible to fast, their advanced in age, are they ill to the extent of some chronic disease, that it's not expected that they will uh, recover. For them, there is a ransom, expiation, feeding one poor person for one day's fasting. It's something very natural. Then Islam has made the period of fasting very moderate. We see in Jainism that they fast for very longer periods, for weeks together. In Jews we see that they fast for 24 hours. They do not have suhoor. Islam has given a fast from dawn to dusk. About 12 hours or 15 hours. And Islam has asked us to take suhoor, to take breakfast in the morning, before dawn, before starting the fast, we must take something. And he's told it, the Saharuf and the Sahur Baraka. The Prophet says, they do have something in Sahur before dawn because it's a it's a food in which Allah the Almighty gives some baraka. Allah is pleased for if we take food. So it's a period which is moderate. It's not very lengthy, weeks together, 24 hours, no. Among the Arabs, it was their habit that if they could take something before sleeping and after sleeping at night, they could not take anything. Islam did not allow that. It prohibited that. You can take again and again. And the Arabs used to take just for once for fasting. Twice, uh, no. And thrice they could not have it. Islam has allowed that. Till dawn, keep on eating and drinking if you like. But the, from dawn till sunset, you're not supposed to eat anything. So it has become a very natural religion. Thank you very much. <laughs>